Welcome back, you filthy exiles. So you might be wondering whether or not Delve currently is profitable enough. Well, from looking at the market, looks like it might be. So anyway, let's talk about that and get into the nitty gritty details. Okay, so first off the ranks here is fossils. So what currently is selling? So what we can currently see in the market is there been there has been a huge increase in faceted fossils. These drop off Gannicks in, um, in Delve, so the magma chamber nodes. Hollow fossils as well off the um, the crystal spires uh, went up pretty significantly. They actually peaked at about one div per fossil for some odd reason and then went down to about ADC. Now, if you're trading on the exchange market, you actually manage to net a little bit more. So I'd probably suggest trading on the exchange market because you get a lot more bang for your buck and you can liquidate things a little bit quicker. Though you can't do that with the hollow through to the, um, the fractured fossils for some weird reason. Now, fractured's not really worth doing this will be off the humid fissure nodes in Delve. So if you do see humid fissure, unless you're going to hit them in bulk, probably not worth, in, worth doing. They've dropped in uh, price over the last few days. Glyphics are worth doing if you can do them, though they're a bit rippy this league as well. Pretty much everything else you can sell in high-end bulk. So bounds and dances have went up to 2C, but they sell for more on the market in bulk and serrateds as well. And generally with all these fossils, you can sell in bulk on the market. They drop in like anywhere up to stacks of six from 500 depth and below. So darkness farming is actually a little bit worth it, especially for like shuttering fossils and things like that. You will make some money and sanctifieds have gone up to about 5C as well. So they're up 67%. So definitely worth, um, worth fossil hunting in Delve. Now, resonators this is where the money is and yeah resonators are selling for ridiculous prices this league so we're at 35c for four socket primes which is pretty good that's went up by 40 percent uh powerfuls are at 10 and on the market they liquidate anywhere up to 13c per powerful this is the three sockets so if you're getting these in the darkness pretty much what that's like 10 to 14 for a div something like that um i think that's around about the price for a div of about 150 to 160 right now. Okay, so definitely powerfuls are worth farming in the darkness and these start dropping from basically as soon as you walk into Delve, so to Primes. Now, Potents, I was actually selling these for anywhere up to 7C the other day per Potent. So these are actually selling for quite a bit and they've went up in price. The best thing is Primitive Chaotix. So if you've watched any of my strat videos and I'll put links below, Primitive, Cha Primitive Chaotix can be done with the Azurite strategy in Delve and basically you just buy them off Nico for like 14K um, Azurite equals like 140, 150 um, primitives, but these are selling for 2C each. So if you get 140 primitives, right, that's 280C. That's like a div and a bit, and that's one run down in a delve. So it's pretty profitable if you're uh, if you're farming uh, resonators right now. Anyway, let's talk about some of the item drops in delve, and that's where there's a little bit of disappointment right now. Okay, so we'll start with All's Uprising. So these are, so, so the most, I guess the highest selling All's Uprising is the Malevolence, currently liquidating out for 20 div, up to. Now, it depends on the availability. You could probably sell these for as high as 21 div. There's not many on the market, and this is currently what's happening is people are trying to price each other out. And so there is a scarce supply. I would say you probably could sell these for much higher, and this goes as high as 35 div. So, you know, they are selling pretty well, but these are the most profitable ones to basically farm and sell of crystal king right now uh then we look at like the um the envy drop which used to be pretty expensive but on average you've got price fixes trying to drag the price down or, or quick liquidators unfortunately i should probably make that comment um and basically yeah you could get like 9 to 13 div i'd say roundabouts for these right now if you're putting them on the market and then it'll be based on who responds essentially and who's trying to undercut the market um, for others like the um, the determinations, these are like five div. This is super cheap. Like usually, these are like twenty div in a league. Really surprising, but it's because of the uh, determination nerfs as well. Less people are running armor, so these aren't, aren't as worth what uh, aren't as valuable as what they used to be worth. Sorry. Uh, then we look at things like Pride. This is really build enabling too. These are selling for about three div a piece, up to four div. That's actually not bad. And if you're playing melee builds, this is an easy way for an to basically get a huge amount of damage in your build for very minimal cost. Um, so build enabling, and you know you could have it drop and just use it in the next build. To be honest with you, uh, we start to lose a lot of money on haste. Haste is only two div to three div. Now, considering what this can provide attack speed wise with some of the strike skills and stuff like that, it's actually really surprising to see this so cheap. This is actually really good on minion builds as well. 
and you'll see like different builds run this like zombies and stuff like that from time to time but yeah definitely something that you might want to in include in your build but you can liquidate these out for about three to four divs something like that uh then we start to go to the low end which is grace so armor stacking is pretty bad and grace is basically worthless now because grace got nerfed pretty hard so these are only like 100 c up to 0.9 to 1 div so not really worth a lot uh then we start looking at even worse things hatred for some weird reason considering the buff that this could give is like 30 c to 40 c um the thing that could be dropping these as well is the div card that's been added back into the game but i'm unsure as the probability of those cards dropping as well as the frequency of people farming them so i don't know this doesn't necessarily make them the most profitable thing to farm either so you know there are better things you could farm like you know mage blood cards or doctors and stuff like that anyway uh and then we go to crown of the tyrant so these are selling from 3.5 and say 3.5 to 4 div now these only drop on the crystal king so they're definitely worth liquidating really good for like elemental based minion builds and stuff like that um but yeah they do sell pretty quickly you can see like most of these are like up within 13 to 12 minutes some are like a few hours ago and whatnot you probably liquidate these out really quick for like 3.1 to 3.4 div to be honest with you and just underbake on them on the market but that's a bit of a competitive edge you might take take a loss sell quicker now but yeah they're definitely selling for a reasonable sum uh, and then we look at curiosities. This is basically total shitbird. Um, so not profitable at all. I have a stack of these because I keep getting um, architect nodes and no primevals for some weird reason. I think the game just hates me a little bit this league. But um, yeah, I would say maybe hold on to these. Don't sell these. Someone might actually come up with a build close to the end of the league that might be game breaking. And I reckon curiosity will potentially be something that will be saleable once uh, people figure out that the um the adorned is not as bad as they think it might be but anyway this is just people reacting to the um to the changes to an item so this may or may not stick it may be better next league who knows uh then we have doriani's machinarium this is going up exponentially so if you are taking architect nodes these are six div these went up from i think i sold them at three div like a week ago so these will carry your architects so it is still definitely very worthy farming art architects right now you will make bank if you get one of these to hit and then finally, Precursor Rings. These are going up and up in price. And this is only indicative of like overall market yield based on POE Ninja. These things, if you get plus one Frenzy, plus one Endurance, or plus one Power Charge, will go anywhere from 25 to like 60 div, right? So if you get the right roll, and this is combining, uh, combining the uh, Meadow and whatnot, Meadow, Mountain, and Valley Rings, right? That you get dropped. So in combination, if you get a plus one to any charge, that ring is worth mint. Now, obviously, other things I haven't covered on the list are fractures. And if people want to see a video where I cover off on the price of fractures, or if we do like a week four or five video, I might start adding that in and we'll do the searches for the modifiers. And I'll tell you what things are worth in even more detail. But let me know in the, uh, in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I am working away right now. So I do have another video planned for tomorrow night. We're going to do a week three update on the 10 items that are selling for a lot of uh, cashola right now, aka chaos and divs. But uh, anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like and sub. Don't forget to follow the Twitch. I'll be on stream later on. And we are building a build that can take on the ultimatum content. So yeah, anyway, we're going to be doing that. I think delves really well too. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one and uh, stay safe.